Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 3rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, world weather forecast, and as well an earthquake update. Looking here at the last 48 hours on our sun, still fairly quiet. We did see a CME take off from the bottom right hand side of our sun, and it will be giving us a glancing blow in the long range. But other than that, not much to talk about. And no real significant sunspots to talk about either. A lot of plasma filaments in our ionosphere. A couple bright regions there in the incoming imagery right now. I'm looking at the last 48 hours incoming. On the right-hand side, you can see this CME coronal mass ejection right there and then a watch small b class flare flare up on the right hand side there looking at multi-spectrum pointing out the area where the cme was as well still observing the coronal holes which are earth facing we are expecting an increase in our solar winds from that coronal hole anytime now overnight tonight and into tomorrow They have not diminished much at all. Looking at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, you can see the most recent CME going to give us a small glancing blow, but it is a small CME at that, only a B-class range. The little yellow circle is our planet. Looks like this one was directed at Stereo B. Solar X-ray Flux, B-class player range, KP Index, Geomagnetic activity still remains low. Real-time solar winds. We're sitting up about 479 kilometers per second right now. And that is ahead of the coronal wind stream, which we are expecting. Have a quick look at our Schumann resonance for today. Power of 22, 27, 20. Quite the healthy spike in the last few hours just recently there. Power of 27. Quality of 12.2. Having a look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours. Things seem to be picking up a little bit, especially with the deep earthquakes. Very deep earthquake reported overnight. Deepest I've seen reported yet, 629 kilometers. We're going to start out here with those deep earthquake regions. Fiji Islands, 509 kilometer depth there. As well, look, 4.2 in Lavuka, Fiji, 629 kilometer depth. Definitely the deepest the last seven days, if not the deepest reported in this area. Sizable 5.5 there reported just afterwards. Tonga region as well. A 6.2 here reported. Easter Island region. 10 kilometer depth. That happened overnight. And Scotia Plate, the South Sandwich Islands, saw a 6.0 earthquake as well. So some pretty big earthquakes following those deep thrust earthquakes in Fiji. South America seeing some action today. A 4.6 in Atacama. As well, 4.4 here in Paracas, Peru, Dominican Republic. Seeing some activity today. Pretty quiet across the United States. 3.1 there, the largest reported Mexico, White City, New Mexico. Aleutian Islands, seeing a 4.8 here, Rat Islands. As well, a 4.4 here, or sorry, a 5.2 in Goba, Japan. And just south of the Bonin Islands region, 4.4, 498 kilometer depth. Pretty deep earthquake here too in Pakaran, Indonesia, 4.3 at a 598 kilometer depth. And that's right by Merapi Volcano. 4.7 here reported Carlsberg Ridge, pretty rare earthquake. 4.4 Afghanistan, 220 kilometer depth as well a 4.4 here in Greece at a 44 kilometer depth. 
So definitely stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming this weekend. Carry on here to La Palma as things seem to be have things seem to have quieted down a little bit. Only looking at about 60 to 70 earthquakes here the last 24 hours and nothing stronger than a 3.0. So things calming down a La Palma. And again, stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming up. Also wanted to share you earth share with you earthquakes in Canada. Looking at Fox Creek, Alberta, reported on the 1st, 3.5 as well as 3.6 here reported today. Fort St. John, BC. And just north of that, another one, 4. Point, there are 3.4 in Fort St. John, BC. Pretty sizable earthquake reported Ontario as well. 3.4 back on the 28th, Martin Falls, Ontario. Looking across Canada, not much to report, but there's still a lot of action. Juan de Fuca and northward into Prince Rupert, Masset, BC. We'll carry on here with earthquakes, showing you the last seven days for earthquakes as we've seen an increase in the depths around the world. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on Indonesia, Central South America, and as well the Kermadex down into New Zealand. Pointing out here all of these deeper earthquakes this week, expecting larger and shallower earthquakes to follow, even knowing we did see the 6.2 and 6.0 Still expecting a little bit more. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Brought to you by Wilton Earthquake 3D. I'll give you a quick look here from the Pacific Disaster Center. Showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Fuego, Guatemala. Semis Napochnoi, United States. Nevada de Ruiz. Sangay. La Palma in Spain, Reventador, Ecuador, Nevados de Chilean in Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, many flood alerts across the world, Katmai in the United States, Karamiski in Russia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated just today, and I'm sure we still have about 49 actively erupting across the planet. Still observing strong winds here forecasted for Ireland coming up in the long range. I did post a video about that big storm that is heading your way with hurricane force winds. Also wanted to give you a quick show here. Satellite imagery overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Long atmospheric river of moisture heading into BC yet again. As well, we've got Typhoon Nayato who is quickly moving northward now at 39 kilometers an hour being sucked straight northward. And then lots of high pressure ridges building across North America. Let's have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base Ontario, long range forecast showing minus five for parts of Ontario. And as well, we've got a nasty Alberta clipper heading our way turning into a nor'easter by Monday into Tuesday, and that thing is going to whip through and dump a bunch of snow across northern Ontario and Quebec. And then we will see along the convergence line here, flurries across the Great Lakes. And then watch as this low-pressure system comes in off the Pacific through Vancouver and heads straight south into Texas. And then, look, that's going to reach the Gulf of Mexico. So extreme weather heading towards the Gulf states in the long-range forecast. Heads up, you could see pretty intense and very wet weather. Other than that, big systems here still pounding the BC coastline. Another big low coming from the north could bring some very cold temperatures right across Canada. But heavy snow all across British Columbia. And look at these systems whipping through the Pacific right now. 
Watch for this one to bring a lot of rain and strong winds towards Hawaiian Islands. All of them. As that system moves northwestward, riding all of the islands. Big system here. Parts of Typhoon Nayato heading into Alaska in the long-range forecast. Overlooking the Atlantic. Strong high-pressure ridge. Moving towards Spain this week. Big low pressure system and winter storm heading into Greenland. And still forecasting a pretty big system heading into Ireland this week. As well, the many lows that have been heading through Europe the past four days. One right after another. And this one's going to be a very strong one heading into Ireland. Overlooking Russia. Southeast Asia, still watching those cold temps move around our planet. High pressure ridge through China and North South Korea. Another tropical depression here heading through Indian Ocean up into Nepal, but won't turn into anything too serious. But definitely will be a very wet event along the coastline and possibly moving into Myanmar for the long range. Very warm Australia this week. Watch for daily evaporation rains. You could see some heavy rains Tuesday into Wednesday. Looking around the world right now, not much else to report except a big system heading into Argentina this week. And as well, mountainous regions through Chile. Watch for heavy rains. Going to leave you here looking at the North Pole versus the South Pole for weather systems coming this in the next five days. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please smash that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Morning Dew keeping you aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.